Yeah. Leafs win. They absolutely destroy Seattle. And I mean destroy them. Though, Seattle did all right offensively. Um, they hemmed the Leafs in their, their own zone, especially in that third period when the game was, it was out of hand, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Watching this game, there was that probably felt like two or three minute stretch in the first period where after the Leafs scored, Seattle uh, ended up tying it up. Um, and they couldn't, the Leafs couldn't get the puck out. And then when they could, uh, Nylander threw it back behind the net and it hit the referee and it bounced out. And then I think it was Appleton fed Yarncrock and he scored. That sucked. Um, then after that, you know, Bunting scores right away. He gets his little lucky one. Uh, oh, it, it, let's be honest, it was lucky. And then even this, his, his second one ended up being Kasha. That was kind of lucky as well. I think it makes up for it for the yarn croc and the referee getting the nice apple there. Uh, other than that, though, the Leafs, it, it was just, it was business. It was business as usual. And, you know, Campbell, yeah, uh, no fault on that first one. The second one by McCann that snuck through, he'd want that one back. We all want that one back. That's something that can't happen in the playoffs. But he did have to make some big saves. Uh, especially in tight, and it was a good bounce-back game for him. And the Leafs didn't get goalie tonight. They they were on it tonight. So let's go through uh, through the game. Uh, Alex Kerfoot scores first uh, about four minutes into the game. John Tavares finds him, just similar to what he did with Austin Matthews last game. But he's coming in the other side, feeds Kerfoot. What a shot over the blocker over Grubauer. Makes it one nothing. Um, then, of course, the Leafs get hemmed in their own zone for about, it feels like, a million years. Uh, Nylander could clear it. He toe drags around a guy. Then you're like, just backhand it out. All the Leafs leave, including Justin Hall, who everyone hates right now, me included, but he had a better game today. I even saw him jump off the blue line um, and, and take a shot on net. Now he was slow as molasses getting back to his spot, but hey, you know, progress. He made a decision. Um, though, before Nylander messed up and threw it back behind his net and hit the referee, Hall did have a chance to clear it off the glass. Instead, he shot it low, and Seattle kept it in, and then chaos. Uh, Yarncroft scores 1-1, one, one, damn. Um, but that's okay. Leafs top line's back out, and it's Marner and Matthews just working their butts off in the far right corner. Matthews eventually gets it, gets it out to Bunting. Bunting puts it in. Lucky bounce there. I don't care. His 15th of the year, and it's 2-1. That's what the Leafs need. Um, Leafs then get on the power play, and the first unit gets a couple good chances, probably a good three or four chances. A uh, second line comes out, and Jason Spezza is deadly from that right side. Right, Sandine finds him, um, and basically it's like his options are literally he's going to blast it, you know, high glove, high left side. He's either going to do um, like a slap pass to the guy in the paint, or he's going to do the same thing, but a high tip. And that's exactly what he did here. That's what he chose. Uh, Bunting tips it on. It hits off Kasha. Skate goes 5 full. 3-1 as we head into the second period. Uh, second period, Leafs get another power play goal, and it's Mitch Marner, who again on the power play was shooting a lot more. It's another option for the Leafs. And then it makes the teams go, crap, he's not just going to pass it. He will shoot. And, you know, it, he doesn't really... I thought he had a muffin shot. Eh, maybe still, but still, was, he can shoot. Uh, he gets the rebound. I think it was a William Neal. Austin Matthews to William Nylander. Shot, big rebound, similar to uh, Mrazek's last game. And Marner has a wide open night, puts it in. Cool, 4-1. We go into the third period. And Seattle did start to, you know, up it for the Leafs. Um, Leafs got stuck in their own zone a bit, but they didn't panic too much. Um, then there was a shorthanded goal. Mitch Marner reads the back play to the defenseman, tips it around him. He goes, he looks, and it's camp coming, but he's coming a bit slow. So he just goes and he drops his shoulder like he's going to drag it to his backhand. I think it's McCann back there, and he tries to take away his stick, and he just... You, he had this play the whole time, and he just drop passes it. Camp, wide open net, Giordano takes him out into the net. It doesn't matter. It's 5-1. Um, about three minutes after that, uh, uh, Seattle's back on the power play, and McCann squeaks one through, like I said. Campbell wants that one back. Okay, 5-2. And then Jake Muzzin just finishes it off with about a minute, minute 40 left, I think, a minute 41. Um, to make it 6-2, nice bomb from the point, traffic in front of the net, 6-2 Leafs, the Leafs win, um, they outshoot, no, they, the shots were tied, it was 25-25, I think the Leafs were up 4-1, and the shots were like, they, they were under 20 when they were up 4-1, 
Um, under 20 shots on goal. They're up 4-1. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so shots 25-25. Jack Campbell outplays both Grubauer and Drieger. The Leafs win. And this was a game that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, I wish Austin Matthews scored. So now we can say he scored against all 32 NHL teams. So Seattle is the only team he hadn't scored against. But it was a big 6-2 win. This right here, this is what we thought was going to happen against Vancouver. What could have happened against Calgary. Instead, they got goalied by Marstrom and a little bit beat up by Calgary. And Vancouver, they definitely got Demcoed. Here, Grubauer, Drieger, they couldn't do it. And Jack Campbell made the saves that he needed to. Um, there's a good glove save there in the first period off a hard point shot from, I think it was Fleury. Uh, he had uh, Geeky got robbed in front of the net when it was 5-2 because they could have made it 5-3. And then, ooh, Leafs give up another lead. But he was solid there. Um, can't, not much else to say. I'm just happy the Leafs won. Uh, what are they now? They're at 31, 12, and 3, 65 points. Still third in the Atlantic. Of course, they're going to end up playing Tampa Bay the way it looks. But we're gonna, we knew they were going to have a hard, a hard first round no matter what. It's going to be Florida, Tampa, or Boston. They're a top team. They're going to play another top team. They beat Seattle as they should. They dominate Seattle 6-2. And when they got hemmed in their own zone, they did all right. They survived. I still want them to be a little bit more aggressive in front of the net. Um, but it'll get there. Like Muzzin ragged all the guy here or there. Sandine got a little bit aggressive. I like it. Good game by the Leafs. Let me know down below your thoughts on the game. I will see you next time. Go Leafs, go.